This is Connie Bruce, and I am going to teach you a technique that I call marbleizing paint that I have used a few years on some of my art cards, and I'm going to try it on the magnets here. So I've already put on the base coat of some apple spice, and I did the edges. And I am going to just take some oddball colors. I think this is a vintage girl. And I'm just going to load up some paint and put a little bit more apple spice. And I know this is very abstract and unorthodox, but it works very well for me. And then I'm going to put some new copper, tarnish copper on there. And this is all you do, is you take a piece of paper and you just let it get a little grip on there and you just wiggle a little bit and as you are taking off your paper it will marbleize for you and you can get some really unique designs. There, it turned out pretty good. If you don't like it, you go over it again. There, that's pretty cool. And then you just let that dry. Now, the paper that I um, used, you could also use that in another piece of art or craft. The other thing that you can do is if you had like heart stencils or the circles or the stars, um, you could do the base coat and then put your stencils on and just marbleize just the middle of your stencil. So, there you go. And I could even do this one more time because there's a lot of paint on there. So you just make sure you can feel that it's gripping and you just wiggle it a little bit and as you pull it off you wiggle and it will marbleize. Now see you have a really cool piece of paper. You can do it again over here. You have to make sure it's got a little bit of um, grip to it. And then I just kind of wiggle it around as I'm pulling it off. Now, it didn't have too much of a pattern, so I just went over it again. You can do that. Now it's starting to get muddy. And if you do it too many times, um, that's what will happen. So let me show you a different, what if I did copper first. And I did a little pink on top of that. And we just put in a splash of red. And this will really make it look different because most of it's copper. So, we'll do that again. We'll just wiggle when we lift it off. Put it back down again and wiggle it again. Put a little bit more and there you have it. That's exactly how I do my artistic cards and I thought it would work really cool on the on the chalky kits for the wood.